off, or is it going to be big who had to battle their way back through the lower bracket and now, of course, have their chance to play in the grand finals if they can make it through here with the home German crowd? Yeah, definitely. That German crowd is going to do so much for Heroic. And you saw Gobby, he was so on fire and really always coming out to thank them after the games that they played yesterday. He even threw t shirts to the crowd, it got everyone going, it was so good. But I, I, I hope for a big victory, but let's just say that. It's a stretch. Yeah, it's, it's it's a big stretch, but they're good. They're good. They're close, but I just don't think they're close enough in a best of three because I think they're going to win us too. They're not going to win the first match. And then when it comes to Cobblestone, I think that Heroic just has that slight edge, to be honest. Something like 16 12 with the third one, I'm guessing. Yeah, and overall here too, Heroic, uh, like we said before, there's the more consistent style and they've been together for so much longer. So uh, the same thing how we had LDLC having the decision on the T side, that's that's going to come into play as well here uh, for Big Clint too. And that was like a big factor in their set yesterday when they ended up playing them out there. So. Mm. Big is uh, Big is has got a lot of things to make up for here if they want to try to take down Heroic and be able to take this over to the grand finals to play off versus Flipside. Definitely, and also we, we talked about um, the guys from from Heroic having the day off. Let's just say that Valde was not sitting in the hotel enjoying a spa or foot rub or something like that. He was in the venue. He was actually watching all the games with us in the green room, and he was he was he was of course having fun, but he was also being very analytical, always thinking about what they were doing, watching the big games. And we actually sat with him when they were watching the uh, the the Vika Squadron versus Big yesterday and we ask him, who do you want to face? Well, obviously, I would like to face Vegas Corner because Big are not a bad team at all, and we're going to have to play our best Counter-Strike to beat them. So all in all, this this shows the signs of a wonderful best of three coming in. This could go all the way and be incredibly juicy. The individualistics of, uh, of Big are something to be feared here as well. In yeah. What we saw from yesterday, but banking on that consistently over a three-day period is obviously not a way to make <laughs> a team form, uh, unfortunately. So we do have to see something else from them, I think, to take down Heroic, especially with, with how much I think they want this victory here. Same can be said for flip side, to be honest. So yeah. uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a very tough rest of this path through for big, and I think they just need to bring something extra to the table if they want to make it through not only this semifinal but the grand final as well. Yeah, and also when we talk about if we continue on to the point that they had on the desk with the map B2, I really like the fact that Heroic actually are going out and not saying, okay, we we just we're not just gonna play our game. We're actually also gonna think into the fact that Big haven't been valuable to practice so much. So they're actually gonna pick a map that's train that is generally not a good map for Heroic, but they know from watching over and analyzing the way that Big have been playing and the way they've been practicing, this is probably not gonna be a good map for them. So we're gonna go out of our own comfort zone to bring them even further out of theirs. And I actually really like that decision. The question is, is it gonna pay off? Because if it's not gonna pay off, then they're gonna be on their backs one to zero going into this two, which surely is gonna benefit big. It's their map choice. It's the more Poggy style of map that kind of gives the edge to the newer team here. Not of this too, but even going back to obviously previously to this roster when, when primarily this was energy beforehand, yeah. uh, they were they were masters of dust too as well. They were something to be feared on that map. So uh, for the guys over here on Heroic, they certainly want to be able to take control of this first map because otherwise it's, it's actually pretty likely that they could take this 2-0 if they drop the strain map here. But anyway, it does appear though guys is that we're prepared to get into it. So let's make some noise as it is Big's first map here for okay. today in the semi-final versus Heroic. Here at DreamHack Leipzig. Auf geht's. Junge, as uh, Big gets into this pistol round on the CT side, three armors, one kit, two flashbangs on Legia, and Keeve trying to hold down the long range with the USB, clicks one through the smoke. There we go, it took a while, but he does manage to grab that kill. He's gonna have extra support as well in the event they do try to push towards it, but right now, Heroic, they're forcing the issue on that plant, and while they will get it, they're not doing a good job securing the rest of the site. Next is in a great position, along with Legia, to be able to secure some more kills. That's free gone down, Snappy does trade, Mahdi with another pickup too, so hold on now, Heroic, they're battling it back, but there's Keeve, backed by Ivy with a double play, ends up working out, and Keeve continues to spray through as he finds Valde. Now, it all falls to Mahdi behind the E-Box. It is planted for him, but both these players are gonna be pushing him. He no longer has the support, and next will shut it down to give big control of the pistol. So I'm curious there, they, de they did have the kit on one of the players, but uh, and did not end up with the kit in the end. So if Modi had held out for a few seconds longer, that might actually have been a more t close, intense round. But in the end, very nice play by Big, especially with that first kill coming out of Kiev on the long range through the smoke. That's really nice. We're actually going to see that on the replay. No chance of knowing where they are, just spamming the angle. He knows it's going to be somewhere in that area, in that vicinity. Also clicks Valde. And now it's up 1-0 to zero for Big, and it's going to be a full uh, head armor and utility. Tech 9 by coming in from Hero so expect something quick here. We knew the power of Kiev was something to be feared, especially from their final set yesterday, but already starting us off with a 3k in the pistol. He's off to a hot start, and that's exactly what the guys on Big need. They need to send these, these huge individual performances skyrocketing right from the start of the match, and 
That's certainly going to help their case in that regard. But here in the second round, obviously heroic. They actually they don't wait for the third round here. They don't try to you know just buy up like a smoke or two and rush the site to be able to get the second plant and then focus on the third round. They fully invest right yeah. here. So they've got the Tech Nine armor buy with all the utility behind it, which could surprise Big a little bit. Yeah, and also because Big have bought up against this. They have bought all, like there's only two UMP 45s, so they have two for Masters and one and four as well because they're expecting the AKs, they're expecting to take the long range duels. And now they're going to explode onto this B bomb side, and it's pretty much onto Nex, who's in this uh, rotation a position, but when the smokes go down, I'm sure they're going to smoke him off as well. They're at least going to get the bomb down. Holding the close range angles, this is going to be good. Nex already trying to push his way in through Z, but being very cautious of that upper push, which could max him out. The smokes, they were doing a great job of giving the guys on Heroic a lot of coverage, and they're being very aggressive with their push. However, they're not accounting for Nex up on top of the orange train there. He's going to be able to find Zaldi. Takes a little bit of too much time to be able to find Snappy, though, so he catches the trade, and he still has an avenue to safely fall back with the rest of his teammates. The bomb's gone down. In fact, it's been down for quite a while now, so the big players are on makeup duty as they need to get back into the site quickly. Everybody else, however, is hiding over there in those box stalls. So although Big have cleared out the site, they have a lot more to worry about. And this is where that extra utility comes in, including Freeze with the Molotov over there, which he can use to stop the defuse. But at the same time, Big still have a smoke to work with here. They just threw it out, and I actually don't think it bounced the way they wanted it to. So it's going to miss, but Freeze on the bomb. smoke. They're on the bomb, defusing it less than a second left. And no! Keeve is going to sneak it inside the smoke, and they'll be able to claim the second. So uh, also, of course, the smoke at the bomb site, they had one smoke left. So technically, even if Freeze hit that Molotov, they actually had a smoke down to negate it. So it's not really that big of, big of a deal. But of course, usually you would expect that that smoke is going down towards the bomb site. Maybe he actually got the information that there was a smoke on the bomb site and the word diffused, and that's why he didn't do that. Of course, we can only know that if we ask him later on. But now we do see this scrappy buy coming in for both teams. UMPs, AKs, stuff like that. But also some SMGs, uh, not some SMGs, some Max 7s on the CT side, but an AWP on Keeve. That's key. Now they're pushing fast outside here right now. The guys on big are trying to boost up towards it, but the control is already there. They can't even really do that. In fact, they know it's on the way now. And look at this flashbang. It's perfect. Val is going to walk right in. Legia does respond, but the damage has already been done. The bomb's gone down onto the ground, and these guys have to retreat. The CDs have to look for another avenue back in. Mahdi's controlling heaven. They're watching out. The one area that they're actually not paying attention to is going to be the alt tunnel right now. And this is where Tabson can find a way back in. Gobby, in the meantime, is battling for control outside of the ladder room here. He's got a shotgun, though. Leaps down. Misses a very important shot. And with Nico finding that frag along with Tabson, that's going to put it into it here. Heroic's aggressive style, it's worked out, and they are going to find their first round. Yeah, and also, like, Heroic is so good at taking over a site. The only thing that's been lacking from them so far in this game is holding the site afterwards, but this time around, they get into post plant positions really quickly and hold them with the AKs and the UMP-45s. They're actually even going for this kill here on Legia. Like, yeah, I'm not quite sure if I like it, and Legia like, is just ripping them apart. And let's see, if, if it's Modi going to get the last one? Then it's Random. not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. Uh, and also with their economy taken into shape, this is not a lot of money to spare. So throwing three weapons away like that and not getting the AWP down on the CT sign, that's a huge deal. Absolutely. So it seems that often does massive damage, as you just mentioned there, too. So uh, that gun being tossed out there as we saw trade happen doesn't really, uh, doesn't really work out. No, I don't think it was that. That's a nice shot, this one. The quick scope, as I believe it was there, is able to take him down and claim a 4K on the round for him. But now it goes into the hands of Kiev. Like he is going to drop that back down, and we will see if Big are able to hold on here and potentially upset as they force into this next one with CZs and P250s. Armor being locked behind them, of course, as well. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. That economy is going to be key because a couple of the players on the heroic side will not be able to buy up fully. Um, if they lose this one, there's actually only going to be one player who's going to be able to buy up fully. The rest of them are going to be on an eco. So they need to string some rounds together right now. But luckily, they're up against pistols, but Tabson is not going to do anything. Not being able to find anything. They still have next to worry about sitting here behind E-Box, but the good way that they're pushing into it, unfortunately, the support system falls apart really quickly with just one death. Valde's found next, as we just mentioned previously, and now Kiev, he's stuck in a corner too, having to fall back, but he hasn't even caught on to Mahdi. He's going to push right behind him. Gobby did find that one frag, but looking at the moment, like it's going to be the... Um, what was that? Tricky smokes on tricky flashbangs. How did that get caught up there? Um, Gobby picks up one, but that's going to be the story. And uh, two players dead on the terrorist side. Three will survive, and the remaining CT players go down. So Heroic grab an early lead here, but not a big one. Uh, and um, yeah, they, they gather some op some optimal money so they can kind of build this economy on the T side that is easier to build because you're on that T side. The weapons are not ex as expensive. You see a couple of the players around now sitting around 2k. That means that they will be able to buy up if they lose this. On the other side of things, bigger on a complete eco. It's just one P250 being invested. Snappy tries to push his way very quickly down to the bottom of the ladder. I mean, he will get that control. Big, however, with their limited arsenal, they certainly have to rely on 
unfortunate mistakes from the side of Heroic to be able to get an advantage here, and that's not the way to start it. Legio, he spotted pushing his way through the first train there, and they will have a pretty easy time of taking him down. The rest, well, they're all stacked here on the A bomb site, so it is playing into the type of push that Heroic are going to do, but obviously with it being slowed down and uh, now the Dane's taking it very, very slowly. They're still in a very good position to be able to secure this with minimal losses. Keeve, though, he does strike with one frag over there, quickly diving downstairs, but that puts the guys from Heroic in a position to trade him back out. He'll go down pretty quickly after that. And Snappy now already up towards the bomb train, looking to find some more kills there. Actually, he runs out of ammo, so not going to get that kill on the Gobby just yet, but more on the way, and the Molotov will finish the job. So let's see, it's Hapson coming in from behind, has to do the hero play now. 1v4, and uh, he's taken out, executed by Nico, and not Mouse Sports Nico, but the Danish version. So many Nikos. So many Nikos. <laughs> we actually had a second Nico in Denmark, but he's now retired, so not too much confusion. There was like, a, there was like I think, at another tournament, there was like a roster mistake uh, a couple of days ago that happened too, where it showed like a different Nico on like an NA team. I forget, wow. I forget exactly where it happened, but... So many Nikos, man. Yeah throwing people off a little bit. Oh, that's right. No, I think it was uh, Hiko was listed for like one team on the tournament and they changed the H to an N, so. Nice. So here we go, upgraded pistols, of course, uh, to save onto the road because they have this harder to build CT economy where they have to do the full saves in order to get the AWPs. And when you're playing train and you have a player like Keith, you have to get that AWP. So I actually quite understand this choice that they've made and I actually really like it as well. But this means that Heroic are going to be up 4-2 to two most likely on the T side here on train. And we all know that CT, train is a very CT sided map. So you can at least always get 10 rounds or something like that on the CT side. So already now Heroic are looking really good. And now, Mahdi's gonna find that nice first kill against Gabi here. Leggy yet prepared for it. The flashbang's actually great, but he doesn't realize there's a flank coming up against him. And regardless, Nico is able to grab the kill anyway. Freeze finds next. There's already just two remaining here for the big roster, and they both go down really quickly. It's a flawless run from Heroic as all five players stay alive yet again. So, here we go. Flawless, as you say. Mahdi looking flawless as well. Eight kills, only one death on the Swede that we have imported into Denmark. Actually speaks Danish as well tricked me the first time. Uh, I was talking English to him and he said, answers me in Danish. Got really freaked out. But that's how it is. That's a great for a team that, that has that one guy from a foreign country, but they can still communicate perfectly with him. Well, now we do have Heroic again splitting their players up. It's actually going to be a pretty heavy push working its way towards Ivy now. So Tavs will have his work cut out for him should they decide to proceed with this one. However, fairly often we do see these uh, falling back after a couple of seconds. And I imagine with the double stack here, Kiev also being able to switch around real quick and help out with this. That may change pretty quickly and they'll just go into a default setup that they have working for them now. The other two players in the meanwhile are stuck on top of the ladder room, preparing for either the possibility to push through and make a lot of noise at the B site with their nades or just drop right down and help out with the push. Now they have that boost on top of the server and I think the smoke is blocking but the flashbang is perfect though. Keeve messes up his nade and now all we'll see is Freeze being brought down to 50 HP. Yeah, if he had hit that nade, I think Freeze would have actually died. Uh, because they, get, they went for the flash and then the double nade onto the boost, which you know, like, or at least they had an idea that the terrorists were doing. And if the double nade had hit, Freeze would probably have been dead. So that would have been a great advantage into a very important buy round here. But that doesn't happen. Freeze with the AWP on 49 HP doesn't make that big of a difference because he still needs to hit that first shot with the AWP or he's dead anyway. Uh, Keev, though, has to make up for that mistake and he's surely going to do it here. Keev waiting for that peak. He spotted the cross, but doesn't take the shot. Just lets them move in. Now, though, with only 30 seconds left, they need to flood into this site very quickly. Snappy, he'll find that first kill. Mahdi and Freeze again. Comboing together two more directly after that. It's down to Tapson and Gobby, and Gobby's gonna leap right out there. He'll find his first kill on the round. Shutting down Mahdi, looking for more, but not paying attention to the top train. And that is where Nico is gonna finish the job, shutting out Gobby and racking another round onto the board for the members of Heroic. So Heroic now up with a couple of rounds here on the T side and train. And um, Big Clan has all the work cut out for them. They need to step up their game. But as we talked about in uh, in the preview and uh, in the in the pre-show as well on the panel there, they have the potential, they have the player base, and they have the talent to do so. So it's just a question of them lining up those individual performances. But it's a big ask because they have been lining up those performances all weekend long, and there might not be too much gas left. The shotgun play also going to come in from Key with which, oh, that's fancy, works his way up the ladder and takes the head right off of Snappy. The movement there from Keeve, absolutely on point, and that's what you want when you invest into a Max 7 like this. You want to at least grab the first one. Everything after that is just cherry on top of the on top of the Sunday, and uh, let's see if he can get even more, even more cherries. Going to go for it. Misjudges the position, however, as that guy that was shooting at him just moved, so he's going to miss that chance. Still, though, fairly high HP to work with, 94, yeah. so he's barely taking any damage at all. 
Now, though, with the rest of Heroic getting prepared to push in to the B site, it's actually a bit surprising that we haven't seen more of the guys from Big rotate into this just yet. It's, it's still just Nex currently sitting over here in the B-bomb site. They're going to sneak in, and just like that, Mahdi gets an easy headshot to the back of Nex to take him down, and they'll take full control of this site. Rotates are here, but they're not going to be able to do that much as Heroic have already taken full control of this whole room. And Keith has only now made it up from Pop Dog. Uh, he could have rotated in 10 or 15, 20 seconds ago and, and been straight in the back, but uh, of course he's... he's He's afraid of, of two AKs or one AK standing above there and, and just take him out as he jumps out. And that is a correct fear, to be honest. Uh, and that's why he's playing it more defensively. And he will be taken out in the end. So heroic now, looking quite good here on the CT side of, um, of this DE train. That is the first map in this best of three. Modi just executing people left, right and center. Like, yeah, it goes down as well. And he even gets the third one here onto Tapson. Yeah, the communication from Big just a little bit off there too. After Akiv had spotted that. Uh, quite a few of those players, I think with the shotgun play, just didn't feel enough of uh, confidence in the fact that they were going to push towards B, so they were very light on the site. But again, considering their overall investment of that round, it's not too much of a loss for them. This is one, though, where they need to start picking up these rounds. The double ops set up the full investment, and Tapton's going to start us off well. He will pick up the first kill against Snappy, but they're still flooding into the site, and that's where Valde comes in with two kills out of nowhere against Nex and Tapson. Keep up on top of Ticket, he finds one. He's trying to find the second player, but oh no, he's pushing in. Valde gets that oh! kill, and then he swipes over to God B to shut him back down. It's fallen to Legia now, and Valde's on the cusp of an ace. Valde is playing so perfectly right now. This is the ace coming in from the new Danish superstar and a very good timing on the timeout because now Big needs to take a breather and say, okay, this has not been our game so far. We need to get back into the groove, make sure that everything we have considered and everything we've... Oh, and he's even brushing the dirt off his shoulders. <laughs> Valde is ready for this. But as I said, they need to take this time out now. Just make sure that they're at least going to get some rounds here on the CT side, because if they start out by getting only like five or six rounds on the CT side, which is what it's looking like right now, it's going to be incredibly hard for them. Next and Tabson just stacked up against each other. Keeve, he spotted... Oh. The worst thing is, too, is he had spotted Valde a yeah. moment ago, but he missed his opportunity to take him down. So he rushes in, kills his teammate, and then transfers the spray to take him down, too. And from that point forward, it's, it's all done. He has 99 problems, but big ain't one. There you go. Got to get those references. <laughs> yeah. So we should be unpausing here in just a second, guys. As well, they just uh, absolutely destroys the guys from big on that round. They are certainly going Focus. to need... Oh, hello? That's an intense... <laughs> <laughs> scary. All obey the hypnotone? Yeah, yeah, really. They're still looking, man. Yeah. I'm kind of scared now. I need to look away. Imagine if, if Heroic were looking into those eyes. They would probably just leave the server. <laughs> Some next level stuff. But yeah, uh, of course, uh, this timer is going to be expiring any second now. And now Be Big are going to go back into the server, trying to bring the money they have to the table, buy some weapons and get something done, because right now it's not working out. Um, Keev is doing a, a, a decent job with the AWP, but he's not on the level he was yesterday. Next is the one I'm looking to, Next and Tapson specifically, because they're, they're at the top, bottom of the scoreboard right now. And these two were the two standout players for this big team. So they need to race up and get to the level they were on yesterday. And if they get there, we're going to have a match. But if not, it's going to be incredibly hard for Big to do anything because Heroic are just looking standardly good. Not anything too fancy, but definitely when Big aren't playing their A game, it's enough. And that's a bit sad to see because Big have the level. Well, we should be jumping back into the game once again here. Big were bringing in the performances earlier on in the match when they were initially picking up these rounds, specifically seeing Key show up pretty well, but it's all fallen off since then. And uh, especially after that last run too, with them basically just getting bulldozed by one of the players from from Heroic. They they needed to, they not even strategically needed to take a take a moment there to figure out what they're doing wrong, but they just needed to reset. As, as that was was a bit unfortunate with hap what happened in that last round there. Now, Keev investing into a Max Seven uh, with only 1750 to spare. That means he has to get a frag in order to get a rifle in the next round. Um, so it's very important for him to get a frag now, and he doesn't. He's shot down by Valde, and that is the entry that they need. This is only pistols for the CT team, so this is not the big investment for them. But once again, they're just racking up rounds and leaving nothing to be taken yeah. for Vic. Leggy and Nex, the last two alive. Nex will sneak in a kill on the Snappy there, but that, they already know where, uh, where Leggy is, and you can see they're trying to tap the timing into it. As they even hit him, I think, on the feet a little bit there, yeah. bringing him down to 37. But now he's at 7, and he actually holds off. He's able to take down Vati, picking up at least one kill, but very quickly after that. The rest of Heroic will just push right through and put a swift end to his life. I'm curious to see how the money works out now for um, for the guys on, on, the, on the big side, because... He was on 1750 after buying that Max 7. Um, so that means someone, okay, he gets the orb drop. That means that someone else is going to have uh, a worse setup 
Okay, so no, that's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, really. Okay, my ma cast the math, obviously. Uh, only two kits lacking like a uh, flashbang here, though. So this is actually a really good lineup for them, to be honest. Kiev has his orb. Everything is all good. Everybody else pretty much full bot here. So just having to trade a gun runs a little bit there as Legia donates, and he throws one right back. So now we'll take a look and see what exactly Big are going to try to do to change things up here, if at all, against Heroic, who have been looking pretty good on their T side after a little bit of a slow start. Afterwards, they were able to put things in high gear pretty quickly. And this is, I believe, an eight round streak for them. They remain flawless ever since they actually started, up pick started picking up the rounds. Let's see him. Freeze, of course. Still with the AWP on the T side, the more stationary orb, while Kiev is more the one who goes out and tries to find angles, tries to snipe out Taris, getting a bit too aggressive. Uh, and Freeze just holding back, just waiting for his teammates to do the entries, then taking a stationary position on a long range spot and then holding that down. But now, of course, both teams know that the other team is on a full buy, so they're playing this one carefully. Execute coming towards A now. And now as they move their way in, taps it up on top. He's going to get quite a bit of buff. Oh. Anybody doesn't get anybody at all. Valde is just going to take him down immediately. And that's a big opportunity being wasted here now as the rest of them start to push their way in. Next is also burning from a Molotov. Kiev has found that one kill, but Valde probably responds to it by taking down. Next, now they're pushing in. Kiev somehow still alive on this bomb train. Finally being taken care of by Mahdi there. But now it's a 2v3. The guys from Big trying to rotate back in, and the timing on Leggy is perfect. Catches Valde when he tries to put the bomb on the ground and changes position. And now there's just two, and they don't even have the bomb anymore. Yeah, and Gobby has a Molotov as well, and there's only 20 seconds remaining here and just a couple of ones. So he can actually Molotov the bomb when there's five to ten seconds remaining, and the round will be basically won, so they have to take him out. There's no smokes for the T's either, and this is perfect for Gobby! There we go! Pushes right in there and absolutely destroys the remaining two when they try to get aggressive. They hold back, and although Tabson is a little bit slow there to start things off, they make up for it later in the round with some heroics from Kiev and Gobby. So there we go, Gobby playing that one out perfectly. Going for the pop flash and then the straight peek. One on the train and one to the left. And he, as I said earlier, also had the Molotov. If he didn't get the second frag there, he could Molotov the bomb and still have won the round. So really nice play from Gobby winning in that round. I think his mistake had to have been leaving Keeve alive for so yeah. long on the bomb train too. He was getting away with too, way too many kills there. But again, we're fast into this round. One for one trades already, but they're still large. These presents, they're not paying attention to the flank though. And Valley and Snappy are going to double team those last two CTs alive, reapply the smokes in Z and prevent Leggy and Gobby from getting any access at all to the site. Now, Legia does work his way around and picks up the first kill for this retake as he moves in, but he's not paying attention. So a second player, Freeze, will walk right up and shut him out. Gobby will have to pull off a 1v3 now, and although he's got snappy low, this is going to be tough, if not impossible, and he may just choose to fall back. I really like how Valde is playing this T side. He's getting so aggressively out there and just constantly flanking and playing even more aggressive than we would probably have expected him to be. But then again, he was at the venue all day yesterday watching these games, looking out the players, scouting out, looking, okay, what are they going to do on this map and this map, how they're playing on these sides. And this is the perfect counter to how Pika playing CT on train. Just get straight out there, get the first kill, and then flank and get the second one, opening up the bomb site for his teammates. Gobby will save a lot of money here in his utility, but definitely around once again on the board for Heroic. And Heroic uh, adopting actually a lot of what we saw from LDLC back if we go over to yeah. like Nuke there. It's just outright aggression. They're not giving Gobby any time to think to strategize here to figure out what exactly they're doing wrong and counter that. They're just moving into these sites so, so quickly and the communication just isn't there right now for big. So let's see here. Gobby, the only one with a weapon. The um, question is how they're going to stack this. Probably Gobby alone. No, he's not going to play alone B. They're going to just play him outside together with a couple of other teammates and then just one pistol on the inner bomb side <laughs> that's going to be key when he has his work cut out for him because well some terrorists are coming in and they have ak's smokes molotovs flashes they even have an orb on freeze as well so this is going to be a hard time Mahdi sneak his way in now that it is an eco round for big and heroic know it they are just going to go back to the slower style as they've done in the past and it works out too as there's not a whole lot of coverage on the sites so already b has been essentially cleared out the remaining four are going to try to rotate around and get their players in position but Again, because of the lack of anybody, even close to Z, really, they are already have taken full control. Like, Snappy's outside of the Z position, watching for players to move in from CT, and Mahdi and Valdi are just cleaning them all up. They tried to wrap in towards CT to give themselves an angle, but that's not even a possibility, as Mahdi's just out here, decimating them all. Yeah, Legia. Yeah. another one right here. Legia pushes in, they'll shut him down, and all that's left is Gobby again with that rifle. Pop flash doesn't work, and Gobby is able to secure the kill, but it is... It's a small constellation price, considering the fact that he's going to be gunned down, and that's the only kill they'll get in this round as well. All on the back of that saved M4, but that's, yeah. It's so hard to see where Big should, should be able to get something in this, because they're just so outmatched in almost every single area. And it's not like they're playing bad for the Counter-Strike, they're just being outgunned. 
Yeah, I mean, in a lot of these situations, unfortunately, it seems to be the case. The eco rounds aren't being met with a whole lot of success. The shotguns are going to come back in this time, as we see them both on Leggy and Gabi. But this is this is just an outright force from them now. Yeah. As uh, next being able to only afford the FAMAS, so they get the shotguns with utility, but beyond that, they only have one of the rifle, and Kiev gets his up. So we'll see. And again, it's looking like the faster paced play that we were seeing the past couple of rounds. They're going to go right for an outside execute. Not even really any complexity being added to this one, too. Kiev needs to stop this from the backside. The flashbangs are good. It's buying them more time, and I think they're finally starting to get a read on this situation too on the big end of things so they've rotated players in but still the opening volley goes by the way of heroic with a two for one trade leggy now with the op still holding over here on the back platform but now that they've got the man advantage all of a sudden heroic are slowing it down causing uncertainty among the ranks of big hoping that they can get them in the open and cause them to make even more mistakes and um big do have that as you say they have all three cc players on this a bomb side so they definitely know what's going on the question is can they win the duels and leggy it takes down nico and now it's another one from leggy can he clutch this one for his team though two frags in two frags remaining shoots for that one Goppy's still alive though as well that's a big miss and that's gonna allow them to flank all the way over there towards the ivy tunnel and wrap around onto the bomb train if they don't pay attention to it here but still it's been evened out no leggy he legs him brings him down to 16 hp as it hits him through one of the pallets too i think now, regardless, however, with 35 seconds left, it is running the timer down in Heroic, and they'll be forced to make a decision, but there is Legge now getting aggressive. He moves in, finishes the job against Mahdi, and it falls to Freeze. Yeah. And this is the hard situation, because Freeze is not an AWPer that can go out and win a 1v2 with an AWP. He's very good at stationary positions, so he's picking up the Tech 9 and hoping for a close range kill so he can make two individual 1v1s, but they're holding it perfectly big. He's actually going for the plan, that's ballsy. Surely it's gonna be shut down, yeah. Kabi will handle that very nicely, and finally, another round rolls in for Big. That hesitation we saw from Heroic after they won the initial fight for the outside site. A two-for-one trade, almost too slow, though, as it gave the guys on Heroic time to get back into positions for Leggy early to kind of hunker down here, and this was the big play from him. Allowed him to pick up two kills and even round around the corner here to shut down Mahdi through the box. Yeah, really good round from Leggy, and now he is staying on the AWP. They're picking on one up for Keith as well, so they're running a double AWP setup uh, on the CT side, which is very common on DE train um, so so not not a not a bad decision at all but taps and of course due to the fact that they had to drop that AWP it's gonna be on a UMP only taps it putting himself in that position too but not spotting anything and I believe he's free to push forward even more so he should be investigating he's all the way outside as we can see now yeah. so they know for certain that nothing is gonna be on its way to the outer site and this is actually something that Heroic have been really good at before but have slipped up on in this round so bigger already in positions to rotate back over there and they're basically gonna be prepped for this B hit yeah, definitely. They should have every single CT player on that bomb site. Taps and might even come into the back at a really crucial time. Well, let's see. Gabi hit by a flash, though, so he's not able to impact initially. These guys start to push back in. Key with a nice flick. Shuts down Nico for the trade. Next, finding another, but out comes Valde from the top side. He's going to be able to find Key. Valde continuing to wrap around. There's a little bit of team damage there, but it's of little consequence. Taps in. Found Mahdi on the flank, and now Legia. Sitting over here on the back side, he was a hero before, but actually Tapson's going to steal some of the glory. He just dives right back into the site, and it brings it down to Valde, but he still has a bit of mystery about him as he sneaks in for that first kill, and he had the angle, but he was caught reloading there. So Tapson's able to get behind the bomb train, and he's going to try to play this out cautiously. Now, Valde has a huge advantage right now, as Tapson is still looking for him, but as he moves in, there it is. Valde finds the tap against Tapson to close out, and Heroic will take the last round of the half. What a great half from Valde as well. Valde and Modi really stepping it up right now, the two main players for Heroic. And it's it's looking grim, to be honest, for Legia and the boys from, from Big because, well, four rounds on a CT side on train, that's not what you want. But look at this from Valde. Definitely perfect 1v2 clutch there and just taps away on that last player. Easy. Taps away and taps in. Yeah, convenient uh, wording there. As we do see the guys from Heroic, Looked like they were faltering maybe just a little bit towards the end of it, but still overall an 11 to 4 half for these guys coming off of T side is monstrous and now bigger uh, on, uh, on makeup duty essentially for the rest of this game. Yeah, definitely. It's so hard to do anything when you have two players that are just going off and playing really, really well. Valde is on 23 to 8 with 5 assists. Modi is on 20 to 7 with 1 assist. And if you're playing up against the players that play aggressively and have two guys like that just running and gunning and wrecking you everywhere you go, it's so hard to play CT. So now it's all on Gopi. He is the tactical mastermind that is behind this team. Now on the T side, this is where he shines. This is where he can 
can see his brilliance, and he has to bring the absolute best part of his playbook out right now. And one of the players that was, is always in question for Big Two is Nex, who had a great performance here yesterday, and overall across the board on all of their sets yesterday. And this time, this half uh, really didn't show up except for a couple of those first rounds when they were actually picking him up. Now, though, we'll have to see if he can have a better performance on the T side as things are starting off very quickly with one of their players rushing out through T-Con to take control here. That's it, though. It's just him on the outside, and that's Gob B. The rest of them are pushing through the white halls. They have another one. Tapson sneaking in through Ivy. Gobby has a lineup, and keep in mind, he'd already lit Freeze up, but he's caught out there. Does not expect to find a player on top of Ticket. Mahdi's also going to take down Tapson, so the rest of it has been counted out in the remaining three. Well, originally, there was the possibility for them to go in her. Now they're going outer, where Snappy and Valdi and the remaining members of Heroic are ready for them. Everybody's rotating back in. They've gotten the bomb under their control. A beautiful tap from Valdi to finish off Keeve. Next is the last man standing, and he's not going to last very long at all. Nico will finish him off, and Heroic will claim the pistol and go ahead 12 to 4. And just can't deal with Valdi right now. He's just tapping away and just killing him left, right, and center. There's just nothing they can do to counter him, really. And it's so hard and so frustrating when there's a player you just, you just can't kill him. Like, you're going outside, you're trying to counter him, but somehow, some way, he still find a way, finds a way to kill you. And it has to be so frustrating for Big because they know that they can do this, but it's just not happening for them. Big upgrading, of course, but just as much as they can on the second round as we do see them picking up mainly Deagles with armor behind it. One player downgrading that, a little bit more utility, that being Gabi. Same for Leggy as he just avoids the armor and chooses the Deagle instead. But essentially the same lineup as the previous round here, as most of them are pushing their way through the White Halls to the back of B. Tapson has found that first kill over by Ivy against Mahdi. We'll see if they change anything up from their initial strat because of that. But it's not looking likely currently. Nice beginning, though. Uh, Nico has picked up the P90 because he knows he's against the pistol round, which is a wise choice. Uh, but if they keep hitting heads like the one that Tapson already has got with the with the Deagle here, it's going to be very hard for him to do anything. Snappy now going to be in question. Oh, faster than that, as Snappy is able to pick up two kills, but he's caught reloading, so Legia is able to grab the trade, but that evens us out once again into a 3v3. However, no other commitment from the players still stacked in Seacon or from Tapson, who's still sitting over there by Ivy. So they can fall back and make this another B hit. Heroic bit into this, though. They rotate essentially everybody in. Valdi fell back to the B side entrance of Z in the event they still decided to fall back and push into there. But it looks like Big are sticking with the A play now. Just a lot slower as they move in and Tapson takes the duel here. Tags free, brings him down a little bit lower. It's enough to push him back behind cover though. So Tapson has his route onto the site as the other two are also pushing in from t -Con and Ladder. The yeah, ticket booth boost is uh, incoming again and uh, the noise being made from Nico with that P9. He's probably going to take away the attention. Freeze comes in from behind, but Legia with a huge headshot on Zivalde. Can he get even more? He will be shot down. And Tabson finding that Deagle shot. That's crucial. He's also got his opponent in a pinhole, but he doesn't realize that Freeze is going to walk right out and shut down Tabson. And it will be the guys from Heroic that claim another round. So pretty flawless so far from the guys of Heroic. And this is their map choice. The question is now, what can Big do? Are they thinking about those two already. They could be. A heated discussion going on in the booth there that we can see. Gabi certainly not looking pleased with the current performance on this map. 13 to 4, there's not much to be amused about. Uh, no, certainly not. Even moving on to the second map, we'll have to hope that they can calm down a little bit and get prepared for that. Let's big come out with some big. It's so, it's so hard to avoid that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really bad name, but. <laughs> As we see them moving into it, Valde is going to find the first zone, and he's spotted the rest of these players too. So in come the rotations, and Hero or Valde is just getting a feast of kills here, even switching over to his pistol. He's got one low. That okay, that okay, was beautiful from Valde. It's that headshot on the Keeve, and then finishes off. Uh, apologies, the headshot on the next, and finishes off Keeve. And obviously, Gobby's not going to last very long either. So very well played from Valde yet again. Yeah, he's just stat padding right now. He's just getting the sickest rating of all time. Um, but it is easy to get a sick rating when you're up 14 to 4 right now. Big will probably be on their last buy round right now. Or if they lose this one, this, this will be their last full buy round. So this is now or never. On map one, they still have those two to go. But of course, you would want to do as good as you could on that first map. And here we go. Five AKs, two Molotovs, a couple of smokes. They have something. They can build something with this. Beautiful again from Valde there with those pickups. And now Freeze sneaking out, getting aggressive, and destroys Tabson. Goodbye. Yeah. Knocking him out of the picture and already being limited to four. They don't really have control anywhere else. The Molotov, too, combined with the flashbang, destroys Next and Valde. A little bit too aggressive there as Keeve does put him down to bed, but still, the damage has already been done. And they've pushed big out of the site before they've even tried to take it. And you know, when Freeze is pushing and not playing stationary AWP, they're really confident in the heroic camp. 
So uh, that's looking fine for them. It's 4v3. Nico still on that MP9. That's an interesting choice uh, against the fully bought up AK team. But let's see what he can make work with it. Legia trying to come in towards this B bomb site. There's one player guarding it. That is Nico with that MP9. The rest of the players are stationed on this outside A bomb site. Freeze finding another kill as Keeve does go for the repeak instead of T-Con there. They'll take him down. The last two stuck on top of the, the ladder room here currently, or at least one of them, with Gabi diving down a little bit further towards below here. Yeah, and Snappy is holding this angle, so Gobi can't go out. 40 seconds on the clock. Big still have a few moments to figure out exactly what they want to do, but they need to eventually make this push happen. Unfortunately, the timing is just not playing into their favor here. And Snappy sits patiently to wait for this. He knows it's going to come out eventually. Yeah. He has spotted him already. Just a matter of timing here. And we do see Freeze actually scoping it. They'll be able to hear that. His first shot misses, but again, you've got the inevitability of Snappy, which we've been waiting for so long. They hit him with the flashbang, and actually Madi will get that kill. Freeze, however, finishes the job against Legia as Heroic gets up to map point. So 15 to 4 is the score as Heroic are uh, one map away or one map, one point away. Wow, that's hard. Uh, from that first map victory against Big. But we have to remember, despite this has been a very, very, very poor showing from Big, next map is their map choice. That's where they can bring it into map three. And that's where it gets really interesting. Well, we can see for the guys over here on Big, they're just going to proceed right through with this. Generally the same type of setup, although it's a lot faster to move outside. This time it's Keeve that leads the charge there. But he's already been taken down by Mati. Freeze up on top of the green train. He's found one spot in a second. He's not paying attention to this play on the right side, but that's the matter. As he stepped down to the one on the left, that's Tapson gone down, and then he finishes the job. So it's Heroic that claim map number one in dominating fashion. 16-4 to is going to be the scoreline here on train. Big have a lot of mistakes that they need to correct before they even think about going on to Dust2, is if they play like that again on their next map here, they're going to be on their way home pretty quickly. Also the fact that Heroic is playing perfectly as a unit right now. You see Valde, the main star, he got 30 frags in 20 rounds. That's absolutely insane. But also Freeze, the question mark for many watching Heroic, actually played really well in the end here. So he's also doing well. Snappy's not in the bottom of the score, but as the in-game lead, he's actually in the middle. And Modi's doing well on the fracking side as well. So. Everything is aligning for Heroic. The question is, can Big come in and break that constellation of everything just going well for them in the next map, which is going to beat us too. That's their chance. At a certain point, it is, it's just like Valdi, uh, Valdi having like full control of the situation yeah. there with, with how aggressive he was playing, especially in those last couple of rounds too. He knew he had them under control and he was just trying to crush them as quickly as possible. He was crushing the morale at that point too, yeah. with the way that they had been playing. Definitely. It, it's just like the morale of Rogue was crushed by Big yeah. early in this tournament. Valdi is doing the exact same thing, just as a one-man job here. But next map is going to be Dust2, and that's what I'm really looking forward to, because that is, and I think the analyst agreed with me in the, in the pre-show, that is where...